Right, so reading slumps can certainly happen to the best of us, but sometimes the best genre to help you kind of break out of one involves mystery and suspense. And you can definitely expect the unexpected in Stephen Cooper's new novel, Dig Your Grave. It's the second book in a series about a homicide detective and his psychic friend. Ooh. Joining us now, we're so excited, former News 6 investigator and author Stephen Cooper. We're so excited to have you back. I'm excited to be back. So for those people who maybe may not remember, you left News 6 in 2013. In 2013. And you were an investigator while you were here. I was here for almost 15 years, yes. Oh. And so you kind of took that process of being a reporter, and now you've made this awesome new career of writing novels. How did that process kind of go for you? Well, I had been writing um, the whole time mm -hmm. that I was here at, at, at New Six. I, I did it, you know, in the evenings and on the weekends and any spare time, even riding around in the news trucks. If, you know, <laughs> if it was a long ride out to wherever, Cocoa Beach, I'd be writing, writing, writing. Um, but yes, it was my goal really to, to get published and to be able to spend more of my full-time career um, on, on writing fiction. So it was a slow, but it was a deliberate transition from here to, to there. And writing about crime, I mean, for these, your first book, uh, the first book in the series, Desert Remains, focused on one serial killer, and this appears, from where I am, to be focusing on another serial killer. How did kind of covering crime here in your news career translate into being able to write about this topic? I get asked this question all the time, mm -hmm, and it is, mm -hmm. it's a great question because it mm -hmm. is so true. You, you, you take what you know, you, know, you probably mm -hmm. heard that expression, write yeah. what you know. Right. Well, I did a lot of economic crime as an investigative reporter specializing in consumer issues. But before I was specializing in economic crimes, I was a young reporter cutting my teeth on violent crime. You know, you report on it every day. Murder, 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 rape, sexual assault, robbery, hold up, whatever. So I would bounce from crime scene to crime scene to crime scene to courtroom, gavel to gavel. And you're getting all this information mm -hmm. about violence and crime and I, I always felt like I need to do something with this information mm -hmm. other than stand in front of the courthouse with the microphone in my hand every day. I needed to take it somewhere. And that place was into my work, into fiction, and to create worlds that people could maybe understand crime better and, and experience it in a different way than they do from watching the news. Okay, so give us an idea. I haven't started to read it yet, but what, what can you expect from this book? You can expect some surprises, mm -hmm. some twists and turns, and not just the plot twists and turns, but twists and turns in the way that the characters develop. Mm -hmm. You know, characters that you might sympathize with at one moment, you might not Ooh. a few days later. Those always get me. Uh, yeah, especially in the first book, Desert Remains had some characters yeah. who had no idea where they were going. I did, because mm -hmm. I wrote them, mm -hmm. but the reader really didn't. And so it's, it's plot driven, it's character driven. Um, I think some of the setting will surprise you. I, I, I have set this series out in the desert southwest. So if you're not familiar with the desert, it's like taking this sort of epic journey through yeah. that part of the world. And as, as a journalist, that really helps your writing as a novelist. Absolutely. It's a lot of research. Before I even get to my laptop to do the writing, mm -hmm. I'm on the phone, I'm emailing people, doing research. So the journalism really helped there. And also the idea of being a television journalist, working with video, being, having to be very, very, very visual, okay, has helped me create scenery, is establish setting, yeah. almost make the setting a character in itself. Have it's you, all from being a visual reporter. Have you always wanted to be an author from, from day one? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Before day one, like when I was like a <laughs> child, before I knew when day one started, yeah. I, I, I made up little stories for my family and would write and put them in little folders and tie them up in little bows and hand them to my mother. Here, oh. I wrote a book. You know, and I was telling you earlier, you know, I read the first book. You had a book event in Orlando about a year ago, and I thought, okay, well, I really want to see Stephen. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited to Stephen, uh, see him. I'll read a little bit of this book so at least I can know what I was talking about. I got sucked in so quickly Aww. and then was fangirling, sending yes. you, like, crazy messages. I mean, it is just so That's impressive That's fine, to too. Me. Fangirl me all you want. <laughs> but, you know, Bring I'm an avid reader. I read so much, and these books are just incredible. I was so excited for the second one to come out and I'm just plowing through it trying to you know get you to tell me some of the twists and turns coming. Well I won't tell you too many because that will you know <laughs> ruin it for reveal everyone. the mystery for everybody and we'll talk more about it um tomorrow when I do my um 
My book event, yeah. Yeah, and so for folks, you, you kind of do need to read the first book, do you think, before you dig into this, or maybe not? I think that... It's you, really good. I think this one. <laughs> I think you, you could read the first one to get a better sense of who these characters yeah. are and the setting in, in which they work. You know, th the first book really sets it up. But if you were read This book is a separate case, and the mm -hmm. case speaks for itself, and it unravels on its own. But if you want context, then I would say, yeah, read the first book first. And it sounds like they're both very good reads, so why yeah. not? And why you're not? doing an event tomorrow for Dig Your Grave. I am doing mm -hmm. an event here in Orlando tomorrow. Okay, yes. and where is that? Barnes & Noble um, on Colonial Drive. Barnes & Noble Colonial Drive in Bumby at 3 o'clock. Come see me, even if you don't yes. buy the book. Just come see me, and we'll talk about it. And, um, even talk about some of my days here at, at Channel 6. But yeah, tomorrow, 3 o'clock, Barnes & Noble, Colonial, Mumby. Awesome. Thank you so much, Stephen. Well, so it's great so to good. Yeah, great to see you. Thank we miss you. you so much, but we you're do. living the dream. No, and thank congratulations. you. Uh, I miss you folks, too, and I really yeah. appreciate being here. Really. Thank great. you. I want to be you when I grow up. Uh, <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. <laughs>